Welcome to part two of our diorama build using Bronco's Stabs Wagon model build. Today we look at the figures I'll use in the diorama. I've had this Masterbox model kit in my stash for a couple of years. I think I purchased it just before the COVID lockdowns of 2020. First up, the horse. Like all Masterbox kits, they come in large blocks of plastic, meaning that the fit is generally good as nearly solid injection molded parts do not warp over time, the horse is just two body halves, which have the saddle and saddle blanket already included, the tail, the head with its separately molded ears, and the reins already molded onto the head. Later, we'll add the metal parts for the bits and stirrups. There are no reins or leathers for the stirrups, but we'll rectify all that when the painting is all done and we can fit the rider into his final position and get the straps and everything just the right length. There are two equipment bags and a horse blanket for behind the saddle. With the horse primed in a dark gray, I started my undercoat with a burnt red color. This color doesn't look right for a horse. Kind of looks like a demon horse if you ask me, but it sets an undertone and the richness for the top coat of the mahogany brown. All the leathers on the horse, including the harness, saddle, and the saddle bags were painted in German gray. The saddle blanket and the bedroll were both painted in field gray and highlighted up with Russian uniform. The horse's mane and tail were painted with a mixture of camo brown and black, and his withers had an aged white stippled onto them. The hooves were just painted in a tan brown color and then aged up with the uh, same aged white. And now onto the soldiers. Everybody starts off with that same burnt red undercoat, but the top coat is a series of skin tones working up from a red beige to a soft Caucasian skin tone for highlights. And of course, all the skin got a flesh wash that just sets the recesses a little bit darker and helps unify all the colors together. This diorama is set in the early war and early war uniforms with a German hair were basically field gray, which is what I use as a base coat for the rider, his pants and his jacket. This was then highlighted up by adding some Russian uniform to the field gray and finally just a little bit of Russian uniform for the very tippy top highlights. This gives us a little tonal shading as the Russian uniform has a little more olive color to it than the German field gray. Jacket collars were painted in a dark green and a light gray was used for the collar ranking markings. The rider got a yellow shoulder braid as well. The higher officer and his car crew got pants with more light gray added to the field gray to kind of give them a little differentiation. Uh, this is common because the dyes that were used in the German wool uniforms were not uniform, <laughs> uniforms and uniform, and tended to fade and bleed and had different colors depending on what factory they came from. But Everything's kind of a close approximation of what the Army had specified. I'm trying a new to me military green wash for all the green gray uniforms and back to my tried and true soft brown for everything else. After all that wash has a chance to dry, everything got a quick dry brush of the highlight colors to reestablish those highlights and take the shine off the wash. When I was happy with the level of highlights, Everybody got a matte varnish top coat that kind of sets the colors and protects them from chipping and tones down any shine that's left over. Like I said earlier, we need to add leather reins and stirrup straps. This was accomplished with thin strips of Tamiya tape. I cut mine using acrylic cutting template to 0.5 millimeters wide. For the reins, I mounted the metal bits to the horse. Then I glued one end of the tape to that part and draped the reins back to the rider's hands, doing each side separately so that it looks like both reins are in the rider's hand. For the stirrups, I first pushed the tape through the top loop of the stirrup and glued that in place. I then glued the stirrup to the rider's boot, and finally, I cut the ends of the leather strap to fit under the rider's legs. Once glued in place, it looks like they attach to the saddle and the rider's legs just cover up the attachment points. I've been working on the base in between assembling and priming and letting paints dry overnight. So I thought I'd give you a little preview of the basic setting. So you can now see how the stab wagon and the rider and the crew were all kind of fit together on a nice little street diorama. Anyhow, look for the base building and painting video as well as the finished diorama in the next video in this series coming shortly. If you enjoyed this little painting video, I hope you would like and subscribe to my channel. 